Yeah. Do you need to flip it? Yeah, flip it. Yeah, flip it. Oh, yeah, I was going to. Do you want me to narrate it or do you want to? Yeah, you go for it. Okay. I'll just do it. (laughs) Wait, is it on um, wide page? So this is my corner of shame and doom. But basically, I lay out everything I need. So turkey roasting pan. I've got all my measuring things ready to go. I've got the flatware (laughs) out ready for tomorrow. Carving set. Cheese cloth. This is my... um, Chef Drummond bag of pecans. I've really kind of blown through it. I've got mixing bowls, my gravy separator, and then look at this. This is just a random mishmash. Get that away from me. Exposed cheese whiz. Yeah, no, that's, I'm (laughs) proud. This is, you can't make broccoli cheese casserole without cheese whiz. And so I get, I kind of get out all my spices and cans and this is kind of like my pie section. I've got my chocolate for the chocolate pie, my corn syrup for the pecan pie, the apples for my apple pie. So this is my pie station. And I am not afraid to use chicken broth for my gravy, so I've got it. Low sodium. Um, oh, got Topo Chico from a, a cocktail that Mauricio made. No, I'm just <laughs> we got lots of Merc. And we have Merc treats. pastries because the Merc is closed tomorrow, and I panicked because I wouldn't have the bakery in my life. So Lindsay rolls. said, "Your corner of doom makes me feel so much better about laying everything out." Oh yeah, oh, big time. Yeah. Uh oh. No, look we who's got here. Ah. Look who's here, Rusty. <laughs> And there's Freddles. Oh, Mauricio, don't you make me be tender. <laughs> no, he's good. Oh so, <laughs> he's not as heavy as he is. Fred, other Fred, oh, Fred, <laughs> what's your favorite Thanksgiving dish, Fred? Oh, I bet he, turkey is his answer. <laughs> he is, just for the audience, he is literally so fat. Like, All right, Fred, so I'm going to put you down. Everyone is loving the um, oh. heart. Everyone is sending a lot of hearts. Oh, Rusty, look. Rusty, look. Say hi to your fans. Say hi to your mini adoring fans. fans. Okay, they need to go in the bedroom. All right, so Paige, what are you thankful for this year? I am thankful for family. Oh, that was my answer. And for Mauricio. (laughs) Family. (laughs) And for the puppies. Let's let's make this a little more. Okay. And (laughs) country music. But stay out of the corner of the room. I and, God. <laughs> and God. God. I'm nice. thankful for my new son in law. I'm thankful for Lad's uh, health and wellness after his accident. I'm thankful for Todd still being at home. Aww. And I'm thankful for all of you guys. You make you make life so fun whenever we get to go live and Yes. Talk shop and talk food. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for Cheese Whiz. <laughs> Are you thankful for me? This is not a paid advertisement. I'm I'm not being compensated for this, but I'm just saying. Listen. Oh. Now take a know. lick. It's for no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, I know I didn't say this, but I'm I'm thankful for my husband. Aww. <laughs> and I'm thankful for the Lord too. too. Right. <laughs> okay. We're Every a lot of people are saying family. stuffing. I love stuffing, but none of the Drummond men love it. And yeah. so I used to make a huge quantity, and it, my quantity has kind of gone down because I feel like of all the Thanksgiving dishes, stuffing leftover is the least exciting. Yeah. Like turkey, gravy, mashed Sunny potatoes. Bread. I just think it's very filling, and I mm-hmm. want like to fill. Like, I'll eat a little stuffing, but then I'm like, I want some of everything. And stuffing just fills me up too fast if I eat a lot of it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I have a question that's kind of controversial. So, do you say pecan Uh, or pecan? pecan? Pea in a can pie. (laughs) Paige Drummond. That's that's not what you like. I say pecan. I say pecan. I say pecan. What do you say? I say pecan. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of people say pecan pie. So, um, pecan. Wait, okay. Also, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Yes. Because I just heard a question. Auntie Kathy said, Do you make homemade cranberry relish? Oh, I have it in the fridge. I'll bring it right over. Oh. I just made it today. Oh, and I have something else to show, too. Wow. 
Wow, the results are pretty mixed with pe pecan and pecan. Pe. But pe. a lot of people are saying pe pecan. 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 A lot of people yeah. are saying pecan. Pecan. I find it's pecan. really pecan. so again, cranberry sauce is probably the least ex the least exciting it. thing. That doesn't mm -hmm. really look exciting, does it? <laughs> um, I made this today and here's how I made it. It's so yummy. Look. Look at the chunks. So a bag of cranberries, a bag of cranberries, uh, about a three quarters of a cup of maple, real maple syrup, and not log cabin syrup. It's real maple <laughs> syrup. Do you pardon Wait, that? I'm giving the three. I'm giving the recipe. You, you take quite a while. Ma'am, I'm giving the recipe. Um, bag of cranberries, three quarters of a cup of maple syrup, the zest of two oranges, and the juice of two oranges cook it for 15 minutes and here it is. And then I'll serve it in a pretty dish and I'll put more orange zest over it. Mm. You can add um, chopped pecans if you like. <laughs> pecans, mom. But it's really good. And this is all our family needs. We don't have a very big group, so. Yeah, Paige is really, I think, the only one that eats the curve. I yeah. like to like, I like to mix it with other things. I but like it a lot. Anyways, D part of three too. said, who else coming I mean, over? You got it. No, who? come on. Okay. So it's all of us. Mauricio is gonna show up. Except also, wait, I just wanna say, Mauricio, come here. What's up? This is Mauricio's first Thanksgiving with us, so he's in for some good food. Mm -hmm. For the first time. Like so, onions. For Thanksgiving this year, I'm going to answer the question okay. I've been trying to answer. Well, I'm saying Mauricio. Uh, it's all of us, Mauricio, who is included in all of us. Aww. And our <laughs> grandpa Chuck is coming. And, and Caleb. And, our, and Caleb. our cousin Caleb. So, Mr. Lev. It's kind of a small Lev. crew this year. We, all, we usually have a small crew, though, which is kind of nice. Yeah. But then more food back. for us. Jamar will you're, you're eat a lot. Onions. Mauricio wants to show what we did a little while ago. These are how many onions? <laughs> Five? Six? Eight onions. Wait, you have to, like, this is it. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, take him, let's take them out. <laughs> There's, like, bags. This is the page's head for reference. But show how we did it. So we chopped a bunch, we chopped Ooh, onions, strong. and every bag is Ooh. about an onion and a half. And so for all the recipes I'm making, I can just pull tomorrow the quantities I need. I roll them so up, strong. I know. I roll them up individually, and then I put them all in another bag to keep them from taking over the universe with their fumes. Yeah. That's okay. Pretty, um, okay. I saw earlier someone. I think her name was Cindy. Asked, "What's your secret to uh, for, to not let a turkey dry out?" Oh, I usually take it out of the oven uh, before, it, just before it comes to temperature. Mm. Um, I take it out of the oven when it's about one sixty four point seven. <laughs> not really, but I think the key, like. Sometimes I'll even do 162 to push it, but when you take it out of the oven, it's gonna keep kind of rising in temp slightly. Um, but I think sometimes it's tempting to wanna take it to 170 and make sure it's done. But if you do that, then once you pull it out, it's gonna continue to kind of dry out. The other way to ensure you have a really juicy bird is to brine your turkey. So mm -hmm. uh, raise your hand if you guys brine your turkey. <laughs> I raise your hand in the comments. Well, yeah, hearts. raise your hand. Oh, you're hand. getting lots of hearts. I C K J K J. That I memorized that name. <laughs> dot something else asked if we decorate for Christmas before or after. 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 It is not Christmas in here. I know. No, yeah. but in town in Pahuska, we actually decorated at the Merck and P Town and Charlie's. Really, the, about the first of November. They put the Where? ornaments today on the tree. Oh, they did? They did. Oh, good. Right. Um, Someone said they want your shirt. Where is it from? I got this shirt at Nordstrom. Just, uh, it's got little poofy sleeves. It's cute. I really like it's it. Kind it's kind of like camo. camo for moms on the go, basically, <laughs> is um, my style. Winnie Pig asked, where's Todd? He... Todd is doing some football stuff. You come in and talk. No, I'm fine. Um, in case you haven't heard from this crazy football mom over here, Todd... It has his third round playoff game on it's Friday. It's the quarterfinals. So, um, and it's like three hours away. So we're all going to that on Friday. So everybody root for the Huskies, please. Go Ooh. Huskies, go. Um, okay, wait, I also saw this question. Um, people are asking what time we eat Thanksgiving dinner. 
one. <laughs> it's not dinner it's for not us. Dinner. <laughs> one. But wait, Mauricio, can Thanks you tell so a little bit about how you do it in your house usually? Because I, it's very different. I grew up eating at 10 p.m. Oh my god. Is yeah. that insane? <laughs> yes. That is 10 p.m. Why so late? I don't know. That's like, just what we did. Different. It was a long night and it would end at like 4 a.m. Yeah. Do you guys remember those of you? <laughs> you're like, <laughs> like 